and mabuhay! Welcome back to my channel. Last video, we talked about the play setting or the table setting. And today, we're going to be talking about using utensils. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is Agnes Brazel, your Certified Etiquette Consultant. Now, the play setting is set in the order that they would be used and according to the courses that are in the menu. It's going from the outside in towards the inside, towards your uh, service plate. In other words, ang unang-una natin gagamitin is yung mga utensils na sa, nasa labas. So, in other words, na unang spoon hanggang paloob. Now, the table setting tells me that my first course is a soup course because I have the spoon sa pinaka dulo. And this is the grip that I'm going to use for my spoon. A spoon is held like a pencil. And we're going to talk about this in my special video on the soup course. And there are two things to remember in using a knife. The knife is used as a cutting implement where your index finger is placed in the joint between the handle of the knife and the blade of the knife and I'm showing you a picture and it is used to cut your meat or your entree your vegetable etc a fish fork is the only exception to the rule if there is a fish knife in the place setting, that knife is held like a pencil, like this. That grip is to ensure that you will be able to take the bones or the skin or whatever is part of the fish that you want removed. There are two styles of dining, the American style and the European style, or what is also known as the continental style. And the United States is probably the only culture in the world that they switch the fork from the left hand to your right hand when they take a bite. To demonstrate, the United States, they held the fork and the knife this way. And pivot a wrist, then make the cut and place the knife on top of the plate. Then switch the knife to the right hand and take a bite of the meat. And we just cut and do the switching back and forth throughout the meal. In the European dining, we are using the same grip for the utensils. Make that one cut, but you leave the knife in your right hand and pivot your left hand, the food goes to your mouth. So your wrists are resting at the edge of the table. You don't need to put the fork and the knife down in between bites. The only time you put them down is when you take a sip of your beverage or you take a bite from your bread. But we shall talk about the SSC or the silent service code. Now, I'll only be talking about the European style of dining as a point of reference because that's what actually we are using and it's you know universally used. Now, there are messages that you can send to your wait staff or to your waiters, letting them know where you are in the progress of your meal. Grip of the silverware is the same. The difference is that there are no switching of fork from your left hand to the right. I make that cut and pivoting that left hand to bring that bite to my mouth. I have my elbow very close to my body. As I've said earlier, your wrists are resting at the edge of the table and you continue to be doing this in this fashion until you take a sip of your drink or take a bite of your bread or you leave the table for some reason. At this point, I'm using the European fashion. 
I am going to crisscross my knife and fork to send the SSC or the Secret Service code to the waiter that I'm not finished with my course and please don't clear it away. But when you are completely finished, place the knife and the fork in this position, a 10-20 position of the clock, and I will lay my knife and fork parallel in that position with the tines down. This is the continental way. So that's all for using utensils. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned from it. And there will be a lot of videos coming up like we're going to be discussing about the salad course, the uh, soup course, the bread condiment, how to use the napkin and the finger bowl. So thank you for watching. And if you like my channel, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time there's a new video that comes up. Stay safe everyone and see you in my next video.